What's up guys, it's Feeve Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you episode number one of the brand new How to Start FIFA 22 Ultimate Team series. Now in this series, what we're going to be bringing you guys is I'm just going to show you how you can get the best club and the best start on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team without spending any money on the game. And we're going to do that by showing you through all the menus of FIFA 21, but we're going to ignore all this footies content, all these new objective players and everything like that, and just kind of play the game as if it were the start of the year. So if you guys are excited for this video and this series, would you please hit that subscribe button? We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21. Would you also hit that like button? Or can we please hit, let's say, 50 likes on this video? That would mean a lot. But with that said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get right into showing you guys basically how you can get the best start for FIFA 22. So when you first log into Ultimate Team here, what you're gonna do is basically, you're going to have to pick a nation. And what this nation is, is it is going to be basically what your starter pack is based around. You're gonna get a bunch of different players and most of them are gonna be from the nation that you pick. Now, this is actually an important thing to pick and what I recommend going for here is England. A lot of people like to go for France or Brazil because there's a lot of cool players from there. But the reason I go with England is basically England has four different leagues in this game. They have the Premier League, they have the Championship, they have League One, and they have League Two. And basically this is important because this will help you getting a lot of different players from different leagues, but the same nation. It will help you complete those early starter SPCs, which is why we like this a lot. So as you can see, we got Barnes as the player at the start of our pack, and we got a bunch of different players in here. And as you can see, most of them being English, I mean, we got Prem players, we got Championship players, we got League One and League Two players, and we got a Belgian League player. So we got five different leagues where we have English players from, and then a bunch of guys from other leagues as well. So what I like to do is I just kind of like to throw my team in here and just kind of see what kind of chemistry I can get. And as you can see, we did end up getting to 100 chemistry with just the players we had. And then as you hit advance here, Basically, it's going to give you the opportunity to pick a lone player to put into your squad. Now, what a lot of people don't know is when you pick the position, it will only give you players from that position. So you can see there's an Aubameyang and Aguero, all sorts of things right there. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually back out of that and go pick another position. So I went over to the right mid position here and I went and picked Jaden Sancho because he is English and he fits the theme of the players that we have. And I always recommend going for an attacker or just a pacey player here just because those are going to help you in those early like division rivals placement games and things like that. So I went ahead and picked that and then up next you get into picking your kit. Now, this is a vital point here as well. A lot of people will just pick whatever kit they think looks coolest, whereas you should pick the most popular kit. So as you can see there, I went for the French kit and I'm going to go for the Juventus kit here, the Piemonte Calcio. And the reason for that, and this goes for the same with the badge that you're going to pick next, is these things that you're picking, you actually get tradable in your club. So if you pick these popular items, you're actually going to be able to take them and sell them for coins in the future, which you're actually going to see later in this episode. I actually did sell at least one of these items for some good coins. So that's our club summer. We get all those players in. We get Sancho. We get those kits and the badge we selected, which again are going to be tradable. And we get right into Ultimate Team here after selecting that. So once you get into Ultimate Team here, what you're going to be looking at is first, I just kind of, you know, go look at my squad here, but you're not going to want to jump just straight into a game here. There's no reason to do that. There's many more important things to take care of. And those are going to be located in the objective section here and more specifically in the foundations tab of the objective section. And basically these different foundations objectives are very, very simple things like getting links in your team, applying a contract, uh, different things like that, changing your club name, and basically you get coin and pack rewards just from doing these simple things. So the first thing I went and did is I just changed my club name here. I believe I just changed it to Road to Glory with the RTG abbreviation. And Basically, when you complete all of these objectives, you're going to get a lot of coins to build your coin balance up so you can build players 
to build out your team. And you're also going to get packs to kind of pack cool players to put in your team as well and help you complete these coming SBCs or squad building challenges for those of you that don't know what those are. So we go ahead and we change the club name here. And I believe this gives us just 150 coins right here, which is very, very nice for the beginning for something that takes no effort. So that gets us started on our journey, but there's a lot of objectives we have to take care of here. And a lot of which have to do with the squad. Basically, you need to do things like put players in the right positions, get green links between players, get perfect links, get 85 chemistry, things like that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your squad here and you need to just kind of like move players around because a lot of times these objectives are very glitchy and they don't pick up when you're actually getting them completed. So as you can see in that top right, it says I'm completing objectives just for moving these players around because again, a lot of times it does take a little bit of moving these around for it to pick up on those chemistry objectives. And I'm kind of putting some different players in here. I mean, I've got a perfect link between that midfielder and that striker that we need for an objective and things like that. And then I believe I also switch formations here because that is something as well is just switching formations gets you one of those objectives done as well. So you'll see actually when I back out of this, how much stuff I actually completed just from moving players around in my squad and how many coins I'm going to get from it from doing something simple. And we can take those coins to do SBCs and improve our team before jumping into some gameplay. And when we back out here, you can see we've got seven objectives done there. And we're going to get lots of different things here. We're going to get coin unlocks. We're going to get gold packs. We're going to get all sorts of things like that. So we're going to go ahead and claim all of these to ju just to get our coins up. And basically, this is going to allow us when we decide to go into squad battles, the offline gameplay, this is going to allow us to go into that with basically a full gold team rather than going in with all these bronzes and silvers that we ended up with. Because I'm also going to end up using a lot of those bronzes and silvers to complete these starter SBCs, which we're going to get to in a second to get me even more packs and good players. But you can see so many things completed just from moving players around in my squad. Because when you do pick England, you do get quite a few good links from players in the Prem that get perfect links. And then, like I said, we're going to ignore this FIFA, this content that wouldn't be at the beginning of the game. So I go ahead and I just discard that lone Jamie Vardy. We're going to act like he wasn't even there because I basically just want to make this as if we're starting at the beginning of the game and show you guys exactly how you can get the best start. So we keep claiming all this. We get chemistry styles as well, which will be nice when we really start to build our team to go in to those rivals placement matches where we can get quite a few coins, which I'd imagine won't be for a couple episodes because we're going to be building our team up until then. But basically I go through, kind of look through a couple of things here. I see there's objectives to both apply a player contract and a manager contract. So I'm going to come in and do both of those. And basically we just keep on completing all of these objectives. And you're going to see it's actually going to put us in a great position coin wise. I believe we get up to somewhere around like 1200 coins just from these objectives. And then we also get, I believe the French kit sold for 1400 or 1500 coins. And basically this gives us a great coin base to one buy, buy players for our team and to get all these squad building challenges done. So in these basics, uh, objectives here basically all you can see I have left is to play a squad battles game which is what we're going to get to in the next episode so easy things to complete there in the chemistry area we've got some things to take care of and the green links area as well but you can see we got lots of packs to get through here to I mean you get a welcome pack as well which gives you like a nice lone icon I believe we got a decent player out of it as well it doesn't really fit our team but we can use. So we're going to go ahead. We open up this kits pack here, which again, is just something that they give you all untradeable. So it doesn't really matter. I just sent all those into the club for future use. And if we see here, we get a welcome pack, which is what I was mentioning. So I think you do get like a couple decent players or so here, and then you get a loan icon, which is really nice. And with these good loan players, what I like to mention to people as well is if you don't know, if you use a loan player in friendlies, basically their loan does not go down. They don't have a contract that expires. And I believe here we go for R9. So for example, 
basically this R9 has three games on him, right? If I were to go play two games with him in my Div Rivals placements and then save that last game, I could play with him for an infinite amount of time in friendlies because he never expires. It's the same with this Lacazette loan. I believe this Lacazette is like a seven game loan. So I could play six games with him in squad battles, rivals, wherever, where contracts get taken up. But if I use him in friendlies, where you're going to have to go complete a bunch of objectives and things like that, then you can use him as much as you want because he actually will not expire. So don't run your loans down all the way. Save one game on them and then you can use them forever in friendlies games basically if you want to play with your friends or if you're just actually going into these friendlies games to do objectives and get packs and coins and things like that and as you can see as we're going we're opening up these packs and we're getting a decent base of players in our club to build future teams with complete spcs and things like that now as i go in here we opened all that up and i'm going to go over to the club item section and like I mentioned earlier, we're going to go ahead and sell our beginner kits and badge that we got. And what we have to do is we need to make another item active because basically when you select these at the beginning, the Dortmund badge and then our French kit and Juve kit, it makes these active automatically. So you need to activate some other kits and badges and then you need to back out of ultimate team and actually go back in because that's what you have to do to get these to actually update. So... You need to back out, go back in, which I do quickly here. I think we just cut there. And then I basically come back in and list these items up. And as you can see, so I believe the French kit here goes for about 14 or 1500. And that did actually sell. I forget if I included that later in the video. I believe the Paimonte Calcio kit sold for about 600. And the Dortmund badge is extinct, but it hasn't quite sold yet. So a couple different items there that are important to, again, not just go pick whatever kit or whatever badge at the beginning, pick something popular that's going to sell on the market because you just want to squeeze your coins out from everywhere you can. And I think that's also something that a lot of people typically ignore is just that small point right there, where again, you could make a couple thousand coins if you're hitting something like a really nice kit or a really nice badge at the beginning. As you can see here, the Dortmund badge was extinct, so I just listed it up 5k with a minimum bid to see if it would sell, and it actually didn't sell on the first listing, but we go back in here, we did complete another objective, which I believe was just to list an item on the market, so we go ahead, we get that done, and just some other things that you have to buy an item, list 10 players, list 20 players, things like that. Now, we've got a decent coin base from all these objectives and a decent player base from all of these packs. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get into the squad building challenges section. And if you don't know, basically, this is where you just submit squads or players to basically get pack or coin rewards back. So this let's get started section, very, very easy. This first one, all you have to do is submit one player. So I just go untradeable, low to high, and try to submit players that you're not going to be using for SBCs. I try to save all my English players there because I knew I had a lot of them and I can get chemistry with those for other SBCs. So I try to save those useful players and use guys from like off leagues or off nations that are probably not going to be useful for future SBCs. And then... Getting these done, basically you have to do these let's get started ones before you can do any other SBC sections. But after that, after kind of this section that doesn't really give you a ton, you start getting some nice packs and some nice player picks to help build your squad as you're going to see shortly after this. So into the next one here, I think you just have to submit like three players and get 12 chemistry, which we went ahead and completed here, which doesn't again give us anything too crazy but it's giving us a nice base of players in the club again which is going to be key for completing all these sbcs and we get bronze packs which again is nice because in the future we're going to have to be doing bronze pack method which you know we'll get into in the future explaining when we get there i have tons of videos on bronze pack method as well one of the easiest ways to make coins at the beginning of the game especially so this again, I just like to discard kind of kits and stadiums that are untradeable just because I don't like to clutter my club with stuff I'm not going to use. You can just send that stuff into the club if you want. It doesn't really matter. 
And then here we get into the final section of the let's get started SBC. We just have to submit five players. And I believe it has to be like three nations or something like that. Something pretty simple again. So not too difficult here for this let's get started section. You can basically just complete this with all the players that you get from those starter SBCs or those starter packs and things like that. You don't really have to go buy anything for these. And this is going to be the end of those Let's Get Started SBCs. And we get into the other things, which are going to start giving us some items that are actually worth having for basically our club and building our team up. So we go ahead, we get this completed here. We actually use two players from the last bronze pack that we opened. And again, I like to open these packs as I go, just because I could potentially get players that could help me in the next SBC that I'm doing. So we finish up the Let's Get Started set there. And what do we get from this? We get just a two players pack, which again, isn't gonna be anything crazy, but gives us potentially some players to bring into the club, to put in the team, or just to put into more SBCs. And we just get some starter things here, a claim your pack thing, that vote, just some like update news things that they have, which probably wouldn't be at the beginning of the game. So I could have just cut those out, I suppose. But we're jumping right back in. Again, we've got quite a few packs here. And this is the key at the beginning of the game. It's just, it's it's a grind. And this first episode is, again, it's probably somewhat of a long one, just because it's about getting all these objectives done, getting these starter SBCs done, and building a good base to your club, a good coin base, and a good player base, which you can see we get here with this bronze player pack where we get 12 players in this, which is very, very nice. And then we get this two players pack here. We're going to get two players, one gold, one rare, which is super nice as well. And I believe we did actually get two golds out of this, which isn't guaranteed, but we ended up getting. We get this 75 rated right back here from Colombia, which could be useful at some point. And then we also go ahead and get this guy from the Eredivisie, a bit of a pacey winger, which could be helpful for us. Now, moving in, I believe we just got started on the next set of SBCs. And you actually do unlock something for getting those let's get started SBCs done. In the objectives, you get a 150 coin unlock, which is very nice as well. So we get that done, and then we jump right back in to this SBC section. And we keep it going on these foundations SBCs. Actually, we keep it going with the let's keep going SBC. Now, these ones, you need to 100% do this first SBC first, because what this first SBC does is when you complete it, you get a left wing to left forward and a right wing to right forward position modifier. And with this, this helps you complete the next SBC where you have to have a left forward and a right forward in it. So you have to do this one first, where basically I just submit a bronze English midfielder. And I believe for this one, you also need a German striker, which I had to go and buy, just picked him up for basically 150 coins which was no issue at all. So we go ahead and sort this out pretty quickly. Again, not a, not a difficult SBC. You only need two players in here. So we're going to go ahead and pop him in there. And then we jump up to the top here and we do, like I mentioned, need a German striker, which I checked the club and I don't have actually. So we have to go and pick up a German striker here. And this actually is a big thing at the beginning of the game. Usually German strikers go for quite a few coins at the beginning of the year. So it is massive if you are able to pack one at the beginning or just uh, snipe one bit on them. It's a good method at the beginning of the year is dealing with these bronze German strikers. So I go in and I bid on this guy for 150 coins, which again, I could have gone and just bought him for 200, but I like to save every coin possible that I can at the beginning of the year. So we go ahead, we pick him up for 150, toss him in the squad, and we get that SBC done right there. Now, that's gonna be an easy one. And again, from this, we do get some items that we need to complete this next SBC, which again is something to keep in mind because these starter SBCs have been the same for a couple of years now. So this will most likely be the exact same thing next year, which also raises a point that it could potentially be valuable for you to go for Germany as your starter nation and just get a German striker so you don't have to buy one. But then again, you'd probably go have to have to buy like an English midfielder, 
which might actually be cheaper, so it could be worth going for Germany. Now, in this next one, you do just have to submit basically a striker, a left forward, and a right forward. And basically, with the position modifiers that we got from the last SBC, this allows us to just apply this to our left winger and our right winger that we have, and boom, just get it done, which is why you have to basically do these SBCs in order right here. And then when I do jump out of order is when I jump to the Loyal Lads SBC here, the last section, the last SBC in this section. And basically for this SBC, you need three players from the same nation, but all from different leagues, and they all have to have loyalty. And to get loyalty on a player, you either have to have 10 games played with that player, or you have to have had that player pack pooled in your club. You can't go buy them. So basically it's more of a difficult SBC because you can't just go buy players to complete it unless you wanna play 10 games with that player to get loyalty. So I actually, I look at this SBC and I wasn't able to complete it. So you'll see that here in a second. Again, just getting a nice base players, contracts, things like that. And I always keep the contracts as well because basically, if I build up a good base of bronze contracts, this gives me the opportunity to sell all my gold contracts and make coins from that. Now, you can see, I jump over to the Loyal Lads SBC here. I pop in some English guys, because that's what I know I have a lot of. But we did, in fact, not have a CDM. I had a center mid that I could have used, but you need a CDM in this SBC. So I actually wasn't able to complete this right now because I don't have the players in my club. So a little upsetting that we weren't able to do this, but we'll have to just wait until we pack an English CDM. You might've seen me pause there for a second. I think this is worth throwing in. I've just gotten an alert that Barcelona announced that Messi will not return to the club. That is insane. You can see we're one off on the chemistry here because of that positioning and we don't have an English CDM to put in. So we have to just move on to the next SBC. I kind of looked if I was able to complete this with other nations, but it just wasn't able to happen for us. So we just got to leave that for now until we pack the appropriate player. So we go ahead and we jump into this perfect links SBC then which I had to buy three players for, I believe. I think I just cut to having this done. I bought those two silver guys and the center back that I put in all for 150 coins. So basically I get this done for 450 coins. Very, very simple. And I think we get 500 coins back from it actually and a pack, which is very nice. So some good profit there and some players to put into the club. So again, just about being smart with the coins. Uh, not just going and throwing your coins around buying players for these SBCs, doing them as best you can in the most efficient manner possible here. So we go ahead, we pop this open, and we do get a 73 rated right winger there, which again, you can't really complain about. And we get a guy in the second English league, which we could use for some SBCs because we know have a, we have a lot of those. But I think we then move on to the Let's Move Forward SBCs. Now these are massive for building up your team because these are basically really easy to complete SBCs that you get player picks from for players that you can throw into your team. So basically you, this defending one, you can just toss in three defenders and you get a player pick that is basically five gold defenders, max 80 overall. And you can see we actually get a very useful player from it, which is why we choose England as well, because they always have English players in these picks. You can see we get Tarkowski there, who goes right into our team, gets a perfect link with our midfielder, and is high rated, which will be nice for future SBCs. So we get him, and then we move over to the next section, which is going to be the same thing, but with midfielders. So we go ahead, we jump in, we toss some random midfielders in, and then we get an 80 overall player pick where again, we get someone that goes straight into our team. And again, with these SBCs, try to use cards from like weird leagues, weird nations that you're really not gonna use for anything else. But we jump in here and we do grab ourselves a Ruben Loftus-Cheek, which goes straight into the team, being a Premier League English player and Chelsea, absolutely brilliant. We toss him into the club. And then it's the same exact thing for the striker here. Now the striker here was a, Bit of a weird one. The player pick 
is different right now in the game because there's actually in an inform card that's in FIFA right now. So you know, it's hard to explain. You'll see it in a second, boys. You'll see it in a second. So when we complete this SBC, which you'll see in a second, I kind of had to fiddle around with it a bit to try and get some chemistry. And you're going to see me here struggling with this. But after we sorted this chemistry, we just had to pop an Englishman in here and put our other man at striker. Get that perfect chem right there. 12 chemistry. Bang. Pop him in. And basically we get that done and we get ourselves the same type of player pick, which is going to give us an, a player pick of strikers, maximum 80 overall. And for completing the whole set, we get the same thing, but for a goalkeeper. So we get these two player picks, and with this striker one, we get Inform Dolberg, which I felt that I had to take, being an 82 Inform. Would, 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 double would fit our team, but Dolberg being an 82 rated Inform, I felt like I just had to take him. And then over here, we get into the goalkeeper, and we get Ramsdale, who again, fits our team nicely, a Premier League English player. So... Getting these SBCs done, as you can see, can really help you build that squad up. And these League and Nation basics and stuff, I just decided to wait on because I am going to have to really just kind of figure those out. They're a little more, they're not difficult, but they take a little bit more thinking than basically doing like the let's get started and the keep moving forward things when we don't really have enough players in our club to get it done right now. So... We move on from that and we actually get into actually building out our team here. Because basically what I wanted to do for this episode was just get a full gold team here without doing any gameplay or anything. So that was the goal here. You can see the basics. All we have is a squad battles game left. This chemistry thing, we have to get three perfect links. And chemistry advanced, we need to get six green links. And you can see there, we have to buy an item. And you might be wondering why we haven't completed that yet because we've bought quite a few players. You have to use the buy now function to complete the buy an item, not bidding on players. So you can see a lot of these players that were in my squad are gone now because I submitted them into these SBCs. And for those of you that are new to the game, basically when you submit them into these SBCs, those players are then just gone. The players are gone, you don't get them back which is why we try to use players that aren't too useful to us. And a lot of these guys aren't going to be useful in the end because we want these gold players for our squad. We don't want to have all these random cards in here. So basically I jump in, I go gold, and we start throwing in these guys that are basically just going to go straight into our team. Those three guys from the player picks go straight in. Ramsdale in goal, Tarkowski in at center back, Loftus Cheek in the midfield. As you can see, we're building a nice base to the team. And I'm just try trying to move players around here because, again, to complete those chemistry objectives, sometimes it's very glitchy in terms of the, the green links objective and the perfect links objective. You're just going to move things around a ton and eventually it gets it completed. I don't know what the problem with it is, but it does do that. And then we've got some nice lone players here and that Dolberg to slap on the bench and some other gold guys that we could sub on. So just some different players here that we could use that Lacazette's going to be great for our division rivals placement games which again we'll talk more about next episode and moving forward and this r9 as well which will be nice for us dolberg so you can see we're building quite the squad here and we actually keep expanding on this team as well which we'll get to in a second because you know as we get these sbcs and these objectives done we just keep getting more coins and more players to build our team out so you can see we're still stuck here with quite a few bronzes. And what we get into next, as you can see, claiming these objectives that we completed, chemistry advanced, we completed six green links. So we get a silver players pack there. And then we also get, is this a gold? We get a gold players pack for completing the whole set. So both of those, that's going to get us, I believe, 12 silver players and 12 gold players. Oh, it's a small, small silver players pack. So six players here. Six players here, which is brilliant again. And I believe we get an English player in here as well, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been a different pack. We get that English right wing pack, which could be useful to us to slot into the team, which is very nice. But there are some, we do get a very, very nice gold players pack here as well, which we're going to go ahead and and pop open and we get some useful players in here which you're going to see in a second which is why we complete 
all of these objectives and SBCs. We get Aurier, who's a Premier League player, decent card, can fit right into our team with all the Premier League and English players we get. We get Jared Bowen, we get Nathaniel Klein. So as you can see, as you complete these, you're gonna keep getting all these players that you can fit into your team and will be very, very useful for you. So definitely worth doing there, definitely worth checking out. So 100% recommend basically just getting those done. So you can see all we have left is squad battles there, which we'll get into into the next episode. And then what else do we have here? Oh, I've accidentally paused my recording. Oh no. And then we're going to go ahead. We got three perfect links that we got to get done. We need to buy an item still. And yeah, just kind of that stuff, just some squad battles objectives, which again, we'll get to, but you can see we've still got a silver CDM in there and some bronze players. We're going to pop in all these new players that we went and picked up, kind of slot them in the team and see what we're able to build. As you can see, we're able to put together quite the squad here, actually. And again, I'm just moving some players around to try and get that three perfect links objective done because it is just so strange how it like picks up if it's completed or not. So just something worth trying is moving those players around. But we are gonna go ahead, get all of our players in here. And then I believe we make one purchase for the team as well, just to kind of round things off for that full gold squad. I'm gonna pop those around, there we go. And you can see we have one silver player left in there. And we actually go and we're gonna go pick up Ashley Westwood, a Burnley English defensive midfielder here. So with this, we'll complete the perfect links objective and we'll also complete the buy an item objective as well as completing our full gold Premier League English squad without playing a single game with just doing objectives, SBCs, and grinding those out with players and things we have in the club. So as you can see, move these around a bit more just to see if it will pick us up completing that objective. And in the end, it finally did. It took a while. As you can see, I play around with the squad a little bit here because it just took it forever. And we got quite a few different things we could do with the squad here as well. We could put Jaden Sancho in. We could put R9 in. We got some different loan cards, which again, I'm going to save to use in our division rivals, in our division rivals placement games, just because much easier for me to win in squad battles without those good players than it is for me to win in those rivals matches. And again, in this transfer market section, we get another chem style for buying an item, that Westwood card. So we get tons of things done there. We send that into the club, absolutely brilliant stuff. And I think that wraps up kind of our objectives run for today. I believe we finished up completing all of our SBCs and everything as well and you can see we get to this pack here basically finished up here for this first episode with another pack all sorts of things being accomplished we get a champions league player there which is nice as well so we got all sorts of things done in this episode tons of consumables and players in the club a full gold squad built tons of things done here and you can see that French kit did go ahead and sell for 1400 coins, but that is that boy. So this is the squad we end this first episode with. We could toss Sancho in there if we wanted. We could toss R9 in if we wanted. We got all sorts of things we could put in in different ways. We could rework the squad to get chemistry and just things like that. But guys, we're gonna wrap it up there for this first episode. Fantastic stuff. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this style of video, this kind of post commentary, chopping things up and just kind of talking it over type of thing. And just kind of if you're excited for this series in general, if it does receive great feedback, we'll just continue doing this series and have a good time with it. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's smash that 50 like target and I'll catch you in the next episode.